Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is about the Android and as you can see on the screen I'm using a spinner uh, in .NET. It's called a drop down and as you can see it's very simple task but I'm going to show you how you can populate it from uh, API. So on this spinner we have just the mount on from my database so I'm going to show you how I did it. So here I have what I did. If you go to Visual Studio, new project, and I did web, and I'm using the M MVC4 web application template. So once you're done with that, you're going to get a default uh, web API, which is this one, values controller. Now I did my own for this demo and as you can see here uh, my API is called donations anyways it has the same structure of the, as the other one but is using the entity framework now on this one for this demo there's a bunch of calls to delete and add all basic stuff but over here I have one that basically you're going to call get contributions month and you're going to pass a key that key is to uh, check if you're authorized to uh, get data basically just a month so to get this month uh, on the android we're going to set up this guy so here all i'm doing is getting months a list of months and returning an array of my custom uh, object which is in the models folder and all it has it's one property months that's it uh, the next thing you need to do is since I want to return JSON here you need to type this code on your uh, global uh, page to make or to force uh, the website to only return JSON this is optional, but for this tutorial, you're going to have to uh, follow this or type this line of code. So once you have that done, you can publish it and now minimize this one and go now to the Android project. And if you're using, you need to use these one for Android templates on this one I'm using the Android ice cream sandwich template so once you have that make sure you add your key I'm gonna keep it there my key and from here on my layout it's very simple still loading so here, as you can see, I have the spinner. If we go to the XML view, there's the spinner or the drop down, and that's the ID spinner mod. Nothing fancy. So once you have that spinner there, then you come back here, and then you declare a a public property here or a field. Uh, so have it has the scope of the entire project and the next thing you need to do is Here I have a method called get months and What happened here is you're using the HTTP web request to call the website as you can see here That's the API and the controller and the action and here you're passing the key the key is optional, you don't have to pass the key. Just make sure your uh, API is not expecting that key. The key is just to pre prevent people from calling this uh, API. It's not a public API, so I wanna keep it private. So if you follow this code down here, you see that it's going out, checking the status, if it's okay, it will guide it will try to pull the data 
and as you can see here I'm returning this array actually it's just a string just returning my and that's it that's all it takes to uh, return JSON actually to read the JSON from the Android so once you have the string then you need to use uh, the J array to parse the JSON coming back from the server and as you can see here I have a string and basically I'm gonna populate it with uh, with each month and I have a loop that will check each one and add it to the array now this array the idea for this array is to have the spinner have those options so as you can see here I'm pulling the spinner from the layout here I have a event handler so when the uh, drop down changes we know what's going on or what the user has selected and here I have the array adapter and basically just pass in a string array and here you pass what kind of drop down you want and I'm using the Android resource spinner drop down item and once you're ready then you pass it on to the actual spinner and that's all it takes uh, to make this Android amp work for you so if you need this code this sample let me know and I'll send you the code or this template for the API Android and also the the web API that I have done is very simple to use and you can customize to your own uh, development that you need so thank you for watching